And welcome, and thank you very much to Phil Mason for putting together that awesome theme song. That will be available on YouTube, so you can get to watch it in its entirety. It's very, very cool. So what I wanted to do today is do a couple of very important things and expand upon the expectations lesson um, that we did uh, overnight, well, depending on when you see this show. We're obviously doing a very small pre-season just before we get cracking on the modules, and I'm already seeing some excellent comments. And what I mean by excellent comments is stuff like, oh, that was easy, oh, I didn't have much to do today, oh, when's the next lesson? That's the whole point of this year's challenge. It really is. We have just blown everything apart quite deliberately to try something to try get you guys to the finish line. And that's why everything is achievable inside a 30 minute slot or less. You know, why make you stand around and do something? But what I don't want you to do, and this is very important, is to think that you need to rush ahead or it is some sort of race or any of those sorts of things. Because the crucial thing, having done this now, this is our sixth year, having done this and getting started, is the people who complete are the people who are able to get this as a routine. And when you think about it, it's the people who get anything in a routine are indeed the people that do well. And that's the biggest lesson. And as I said in the expectations video, the biggest, uh, I hate to use the word gift because it sounds totally wanky, uh, but the best thing you can get out of this challenge is if you can make a habit of your online business, then you are set. And you can do that by just doing half an hour a day and then even taking breaks so people don't get feel as though they uh, are getting left behind. Because you've got to understand this, and I make no apologies for it too, is that the challenge is designed for beginners. No apologies. There is no newbies here in Challenge Land because everybody is a newbie even if they're an expert. If you're an expert, a lot of people do the challenge for the equivalent of spring training, where you work on your batting, where you work on your pitching, you work on the absolute basics. Just like the pro tennis players, the pro baseballers, the pro anything, guitar players, it doesn't matter what, they do basic scales. There's a reason for that. Because you can't get enough of the repetition of the core fundamentals. And the awesome thing about our seven modules that we are about to embark upon is that we're gonna cover all of those fundamentals, which is just brilliant. And we're gonna do it in a way that's gonna be easy for everybody. And each year we just sort of have to sort of take people aside and make sure they understand that this is for beginners. This is the absolute basics. Now, do we have some sexy techniques that will blow even the most experienced of your way? Of course, this wouldn't be the challenge without revealing something new or innovative in internet marketing. And boy, have we got some amazing stuff planned for you lot over the course of these seven modules. But the point is, is we want you to finish. We don't. There's no point getting you all excited have you know hundreds well not hundreds of thousands a hundred thousand of you already at the starting line and just have you all drop off by day eight pointless wasting my time wasting your time so this year this year the most crucial thing is getting people to the finish and by doing it in this way we think we've got our best chance and so i'm thrilled when i see on twitter people saying oh was that it for today Yes, that's the point. It's great that that was it. Because if we can get across the concept in five minutes, we'll get it across in five minutes. But what we won't do is take you more than 30 minutes. Now, does that mean that you won't get stuck somewhere and you'll have to spend more than 30 minutes at some point during the challenge? I'm sure that will happen. It will happen to everybody. But it will be in chunks and it will be done in that way. Now, 
The next thing about expectations, different type, we're going to talk about all sorts of different types of expectations about different parts of the challenge this year. The next expectation is the expectation of experience and market. And the way I tend to explain this, and those veterans among you will have heard the analogy many times before, but you really have to, when you're looking at taking on a particular market, a particular niche, and even don't worry if those words are foreign to you, we will explain everything. But obviously, if you want to do an online business, you need to do it in some sort of area. Um, You've got to understand that just like the base baseball has, you know, the major leagues, the triple A, double A, A, right back down to kids learning little league and even T ball. You have to put yourself on that spectrum from, you know, major league baseball at this end, the absolute experts, the best in the business, and starting down here at T ball and little league. And it's crucial to put yourself on that spectrum because that really does dictate the type of markets that you should be looking to attack initially. And in past years, what we've done is we sort of have let people go, but year after year, people literally slam themselves against the walls of some of these mega niches that are just... You know, as I say, Major League Baseball players have trouble, inverted commas, air quotes, have trouble in these niches. So this year, we're going to do something that we've never done before. And we're going to have banned niches. Yes, you heard me right. We're going to ban some niches. We're going to point out markets that if you're a beginner, you should not even contemplate going near. Now, this could be a little bit controversial, but hey, we're no strangers to it. But it's crucial for people. I just don't want you to... The most important thing for me is for you to not waste your time. You're putting in a big time commitment over these seven modules. And I get that. I respect that. And I want you to get a return for it. And I think this year, more than any other year, you will get a result. I'm certain of it. If you stick it, you'll get a result. But I don't want you to waste your time literally crashing yourself against the rocks of these mega niche markets. What's one example? Dog training, for goodness sake. I can't believe we use it as an example ourselves. And I can't believe how many people rush away and think, oh, I'm going to do dog training. Don't do it. Some of the smartest brightest minds who work 24 hours a day and have high-tech sweatshops in China and Costa Rica work in those markets. Weight loss, vitamin supplements, all of these sorts of things. So we can actually publish a ban list. Now, of course, does that mean that you can't do these markets? Absolutely not. Where are you on that spectrum? If you're a Major League Baseball player, of course, go for it. You're a better person than I am. I wouldn't touch any of those markets with a barge pole. You know, I want a life. Um, you know, the types of people that take on those markets are way more dedicated than I am. I much prefer the more fun and, bluntly, easier pickings of niches, of interesting little markets. Over the last week or so, I've been gathering some interesting um, interesting markets, and, and I hesitate to mention them on the broadcast because approximately... 3,000 of you will go and pick that particular market. Uh, But there are markets everywhere. And there are ideas everywhere. And so in terms of setting expectations this year, we want to post some signposts for you and say, look, don't go there. Go somewhere different. The smaller the market, the better it is. If you are down here at your major league, um, sorry, the ruining my own analogy, If you're in the little leagues, if you haven't run an online business before, then pick a tiny little market. Is it going to make you a million billion dollars? No, probably not. In fact, very likely not. But at least you'll make your mistakes 
at the Little League level and you'll get enough success to see that it's worth continuing. Whereas if you just do dog training or vitamin supplements or you know lose weight or Viagra or any of those hardcore, ridiculous markets, are they great markets? Unquestionably. Do people make billions of millions of dollars on those markets? Yes, they do. Are those people immensely experienced up at the Major League Baseball end of the market? Yes, they are. Little leaguers do not go and smack home runs in Major League Baseball parks. You know, that is expectations in a nutshell. You know, get your expectations right for the challenge. And you know, I want to set you up for success because I know that if you can do well in a tiny niche market like kite surfing, very cool that kite surfing, I've got to say, um, then you can take that and you can parlay that success. Because think about it. First time you did anything, were you that good at it? No. So why should it be different with online marketing? Because there are, as we've already discussed, no magic bullets in online marketing. I don't care who you are. You know, the thing that will get us to where we need to be with an online business is some good, decent, focused hard work. Hard work in the sense that it's not like, you know, sweating juicing. Obviously, it doesn't require any sort of physical labor to do this stuff. But... That, to me, is a crucial part of what you all should be thinking about as you undertake the challenge this year and what your expectations are. Now, the other big expectation that I want to put in your heads right now is the expectation of what you should be getting out of this. Now, I alluded this to this on the expectations video, the $1 a day, um, a dollar a day, a dollar is our success target for the challenge. And it always has been when it was the 30 day challenge, we always you know, was to make a dollar. And people sort of thought about this and they, they looked at it and said, you know, oh, dollar, big whoops. You know, that's a cinch. You know, I wanna make hundreds of thousands. I wanna make tens of thousands of dollars. Well, bully for you. But my issue, and as I explained in the video, is because the vast, vast majority of people don't make anything like that kind of money that you see, the million dollar days or the $10,000 months or anything like that, that you get discouraged because before somebody could make a million dollar day, they had to have a dollar day. And I don't care who they were, the best people in the, the marketing business all started out with a little bit, you know, and making a dollar. You know, and often that first dollar is the hardest dollar that you'll make. So that's one of the reasons we do it. The other reason is to get your focus right. Because you've got to understand that when you test, and that's what we're doing a lot in these first modules, we're testing. Now, of course, the cool thing is this year, unlike any other year, there are a lot of outs. I'm sorry if there's a heap of baseball analogies. I read, I read, reread Moneyball last week by Michael Lewis, honestly. To me, that is like playboy to a teenager. That gets me so hot, Moneyball. It is an extraordinary, extraordinary book. Unbelievable. Uh, anyway, I digress. Moneyball by Michael Lewis. Honestly, it's just, it's like crack cocaine to Lindsay Lohan. Actually, I shouldn't have said that. It's too soon, isn't it? Too, too soon. Sorry, Lindsay. So where was I? Ah, yes, expectations. We're doing a lot of testing in the, in the I almost said 30-day challenge. I'll do that from time to time, I'm sure. Um, in the challenge, we do a lot of testing. And that's what, as people who are creating businesses online, we do testing all the time. And the biggest issue, I think, people who are new to this starting out is that we, we're sort of trained to take failure very personally. And it's almost like it's... Um, you know, a character assessment of some kind. If you fail or you stuff up, um, people take that intensely personally. And that's wrong in this business. You have to get good at failing. You need to fail fast. You need to fail often. Um, you need to see dodgy 
bad test results quickly because the more quickly you go through those, the quicker you'll get to the good results. And to think that this is anything other than a business that's a series of tests which will get you where you want to go, then you're in the wrong place because that's what it is. You know, there is no what works in one niche will not work in another. You know, if it was just a a straight, you know, sort of cookie-like process, it'd be awesome, wouldn't it? But it'd also be completely unobtainable by anybody because, you know, somebody would have rolled it all up by now. Each niche, each market has its own little key that you have to unlock. And you unlock that by testing. It's that simple. And so a lot of what we're doing here is testing. You know, and that is very crucial. So there are a lot of things you're going to do. And bluntly, during the seven modules, they're not going to work. But that is a good thing because it's the process that's important. Speaking of Moneyball, and that's what it was all about, those Oakland Athletics in the early 2000s. You know, it was all about understanding the processes that were required as opposed to what people thought, you know, the sexy stuff, what a baseballer should look like. You know, they were about results. And that to me is about, and everything I've read in like, you know, because as much as you guys have been learning over the last five years, I have been learning so much and I've still got so far to go. But one of the things I'm absolutely convinced of is that sticking to a process, having a methodology and sticking to it and that sticking, like that velocity, if you will, of turning up for this today, doing your half hour, turning up the next day, doing your half hour, turning up the next day, doing your half hour. And doing that on a consistent basis is the secret to success in anything. It's a bit unsexy, a bit boring, but that's it. That's what it's all about. Boy, aren't you excited that you joined up on the challenge this year? Hey, all those magic bullets, all those cool ways to millions. Well, you know, don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong, please. This is the best thing that you could possibly be doing. If you're an artist, if you're in a band, if you've got a traditional business, if you're looking for something new, if you're looking for a plan B, this is the best thing you can be doing. There is absolutely no question about that. If there was something better that you could be doing, I'd be doing it because I'm an intensely lazy bum. And if there was another way of doing things, I'd do it. But there's not, so you know, there you go. That's what we do. And if you think about it, that's how we've learned since kids. You know, watch repeating of swiper, no swiping, and, and macka packer, and repeating all of those sorts of things. It's just a marvellous endeavour. And that's what we're undertaking here because here's the other cool thing. And this is the this is the this is the cool part of all of this. Is if you sign up for this, you know, we are literally on the cusp of a great adventure. We are at the start of something momentous. And I've got to tell you, um, with any absence of hype whatsoever, lives have changed with this. One of the most exciting elements for me this year is the job board. You know, people think that for some reason, you know, um, if you're working doing this stuff, you're getting paid, you've sold out to the man. You know, it's to me, that's silly. If you can get paid by somebody to do this type of work so you're learning, like you're getting paid to practice, so that you keep, can keep an eye out for that right niche to come along, that right market, By the way, niche, for my American friends, is, uh, you might know it as niche. Uh, Europeans might know it as niche. But I'll tend to use niche because I'm a classy guy. And to me, it sounds classier than niche, particularly with my accent. Uh, Anyway, where was I going with that? Yes, while you're looking for that niche, getting paid to do that work by somebody, uh, look, if you're getting paid doing the work that you want to be doing, that to me makes a lot of sense. That's not selling out. That's not, you know, giving in to the man. That's smart. Getting paid to practice, to me, 
makes a heck of a lot of sense. And that's why I'm so excited about the job board. And the reason, the other reason I'm so excited about the job board is because I know there are a lot of people who are looking for people like you to do the type of work that we're going to be teaching in the modules. So I'm very excited about stuff like the job board, but I'm more excited about the opportunities that you'll have and the fact that if you, as your expectation, if your success marker is not even the dollar, but in the fact that you turned up every day on this grand adventure, you are going to have some incredible fun. We're going to have an extraordinary journey. And more importantly for you, something's going to change. There's no definition. There's no difference. There, there is absolutely no other fact about it. Things will change for you. That's why I love the theme song so much this year. And I love the, uh, love the uh, show tunes. All right. You got a problem with that? Actually, I think Lindsay Lohan is trying to call me on the phone. I better wrap this up. Uh, so, expectations. This is a series of tests, both to your ability to show up and do something for 30 minutes a day. And I don't underestimate that. You might be all sitting here thinking, oh, this is easy. This is a, uh, as we would say in Australia, a piece of piss. It's not. It's hard to turn up to anything regularly consistently after the shine has gone off. You know, we're going to try and mix it up. If you're lucky, I might show you more pant shots. Might keep you interested. Might terrify you into not sleeping, so hence being able to work more. But the process, the point of this whole thing is to get you into that habit. Because if you do get into that habit in working on your online business on a daily basis... Even with planned breaks in between. We're giving you seven days between each module, for goodness sake. Already I've seen people who, for example, in past years would have already gotten behind and forgotten about it with um, like July 4 and Independence Day weekend are back in the game because they've been able to catch up. And that to me is awesome. So there are no excuses. It's really your choice. We'll keep showing up. We'll keep being here. You know, whether you individually decide to continue on or not, it's up to you. But as I wrote in a blog post recently, you know, if not now, when? When are you going to have access to all of these resources? And for a lot of you who are new, we've got a huge number of new people this year. You know, you might be thinking, well, you know, is this all too good to be true? You know, what's the catch? And that's understandable. It happens every year. Yet we still keep showing up. We still keep teaching the best stuff we possibly can as many people will perhaps tell you i'd like to think they tell you that you know the training that we provide here could easily cost you thousands elsewhere but we keep it free and again you know we make everything available to you and of course the beauty of it participating right now of course means that you get all the support and all of, all of the the community behind you. And that, to me, is a very exciting thing. So with that, I will we'll sign off. We've got a couple more uh, uh, pre-lessons before we get into the module proper. We start with our first module proper, and we really get into it. Um, just a reminder, of course, that the content We'll always and now I might this this might go horribly horrifically wrong at this point, but let's uh, let's try. Yes, I was being too ambitious, uh, but what I wanted to show you was I wanted to show you. Um, to remember that all the training is always put up on that training page that uh, as you can see down here, challenge.co slash training. The training goes up. We get the training up at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, it's Eastern USA time. So if you're wondering when it comes, that's when it comes. Don't, of course, forget to uh, follow 
us on Twitter at at challenge. Thank you so much to Twitter and the people who made that possible for giving us uh, at challenge, uh, which is awesome, which is great. Um, thank you so much to all of you who've been doing the Twitter lesson and sending me an at Ed Dale. It's, it's, of course, it's too hard for me to respond individually to everybody, but know that I've read every single one of them and really appreciate it. And it just shows you taking action and that is good for you. Um, and that is crucial. So there you have it. So what we're going to do now is, as we traditionally do with these uh, with these shows, is I am going to very subtly, with a lot of style and panache, turn off the broadcast. And we're going to save the recording. And then we're going to come back and the team will be grabbing questions. And maybe if you guys jump on Skype um, and you can feed me the questions on Skype, seeing I'm already up there, um, they'll grab your questions from the chat room and feed them through to me on Skype. So you just put your questions on Skype and Caro and Co. If you could uh, throw the questions to me on uh, Skype, that would be marvelous. And we'll answer your questions, but we'll have a couple of minutes break okay and then we will come back all right so stay where you are or indeed go to bed with my blessings whichever way we're going to turn the broadcast off we're going to come back for a few minutes if you're watching the recording of this sorry we don't record the q a sessions um but you know hey what you're going to do come live next time we have fun and i will get this broadcasting stuff sorted out by the time we get i've got a huge huge pipe coming in um this big ladies let me tell you it is a huge internet pipe and it will be coming in very shortly and that will be very exciting so remember all you have to do is put your chat questions just in the chat window don't you worry about the old skype thing caro and her incredible team of crack ninja moderators will skype me so you don't have to worry about my Skype address. Caro needs to know my Skype address. And trust me, she knows my Skype address. I know the articles need to be done. We'll speak soon. Speak to you next week. We're going to get cracking very shortly. Thank you all for your coming. And, and thanks for uh, with the little broadcast stuff. So really appreciate that. So we'll be back in five. For those of you who are watching this live, not if it's recording, we'll be back in five. And we'll speak soon. <laughs>